even superstar athletes like these would almost certainly fail to qualify for Stanford's elite athlete project. Body shot by Pacquiao. Researchers are looking to study only the most aerobically fit of the fittest, 0.001% of the population. At Stanford University Medical Center in California, cyclist and runner James Mattis is giving it a try. The test starts out slow, but quickly picks up. Researchers want to know James' peak VO2, how much oxygen he can use during this rigorous test. 58.7, which is 143% predicted. Um, so pretty awesome still. Awesomely fit, but still short of the necessary score of 75 for men and 63 for women. Here's the breakdown of the type of athletes who've met the standard so far. 28% are runners, 23% cross-country skiers, 20% cyclists, followed by biathletes, triathletes, and rowers. Well, one of the most interesting things is that it's not necessarily the people who are winning all the gold medals, but then there are also people with these kinds of abilities that are walking around kind of among us. There are people out there who've never competed in anything. Maybe they didn't have that opportunity. Maybe they just didn't have the, the chance as a young uh, kid or teenager to, to find that they could run faster than other people who also have that capacity. Stanford cardiologist Ewan Ashley is leading the project, which examines the DNA of those athletes. So we take a blood sample from an individual, and then uh, we're able to transform it into a stem cell, which means that it can then become any kind of cell in the body. It can become a heart cell, a brain cell, it can become a liver cell. But of course, with this study, we're particularly interested in heart cells, we're particularly interested in skeletal muscle cells. And so the ability to have a stem cell from an athlete and turn it into those cells means we can study the variants we find from the genome sequencing. With the focus on the heart, lungs, and oxygen delivery system, Researchers are seeking to pinpoint the genetic variations of the super healthy. The hope is to create drugs that mimic the behavior of those healthy traits to combat heart disease. So far, it's taken a decade to find around a thousand elite athlete subjects. But researchers are quickly expanding and collaborating with partners in 11 countries, all in the quest to truly find the fittest on the planet. Mark New CGTN, Stanford, California.